terms of your being where you are fitness wise and how close you are not far, not far away to be honest um, probably a week um, I think I've ticked every box in terms of like high speed running obviously because of hamstring so uh, probably just a week but it's, it's, it's good then back to normal just frustrating is it coming at that point at the start of the season to be honest I'd rather have it now than sort of like midway or after a few games and you sort of like get a setback um, I've had time to sort of like strengthen my hamstring probably something that I needed uh, you know I didn't miss a, a session pre-season, which was good. Um, so in terms of fitness, not really losing any fitness. I've been outside anyway, um, just ticking over and stuff. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy where I'm at now. Guys, go ahead. In terms of the two new guys coming in, Jermaine, what, what do you make of them? Are you excited to see sort of more player for all being added? Yeah, I've, do you know what? I've always been excited. You know, play, I, throughout my whole career, to be honest, when new players come in, whether that's a forward or a midfield or a defender, I've always been excited to sort of like um, see how good they are and. And to be honest, you know, it's, it's bringing new players in is, is part and parcel of the game now, especially if you want to go on and, and achieve something special, it's, it's, it's a part of it. So, yeah, looking forward to, to seeing them both. Does it add that competitive aspect in the final third of the pitch that you've got you've more guys competing for places? Yeah, of course, yeah. You see players come in and, and it's sort of like, um, obviously I've never been one to take my foot off the gas anyway, but you know that if you get an opportunity, you've got to take it. You know, you've got to train more every day because um, there's players um, that could potentially take your place, um, which is healthy. Um, obviously, it's, it's tough for the manager and that, but at the same time, it's, it's something that you need. So um, it's, it's good. Andy Newport, you back yourself still to, to you know, get some game time this season. You have the confidence you have, but you, even without the competition. Yeah, you I'd like to think so. I mean, in terms of numbers last season, um, I was happy with, 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 with my goals and the, the amount of games I've played. And obviously, I've got the injury, which was frustrating, so I missed a lot of games. But in terms of numbers, it's probably, probably the best that I've had in years. Um, so. So, so it was, it was good, um, but obviously collectively, um, you know, it would have been better if we had, if we had achieved something, um, because you always want your goals to count for something. You know, if you, you know if you score goals, and you don't really win anything at the end of it. It's sort of like it's still frustrating, but if you score goals and you actually win stuff, then it's then then it means a lot. Chris, yeah. do you feel with the squad now, with the additions that have been made, the squad's in a better place, the, the amount of more serious and prolonged title challenge this season? Yeah, I'd like to think so because I mean, naturally, as as, as players, when you when you sign for a new, when you come into a new football club. <clears throat> Obviously, you want to impress everyone. You know, you want to impress the manager, the fans. You know, you want to impress your teammates. Um, and let's be honest, you know, it's a massive football club. So, you know, any player that comes here, you know, you have to be a top player. Um, so, um, it's only going to strengthen the it's only going to strengthen the team and that strengthen the squad and that. So that's that's a good thing. David Turner, you know both clubs. Uh, what did you make of Jamie O'Hara's comments about the comparative sizes of the, the Rangers job and the, the Bournemouth job? Do you know what? I actually know Jamie O'Hara. Um, he's, he's that sort of character, he's not shy. <laughs> um, I, to be honest, to be totally honest, when I saw it, I sort of like laughed. Someone, someone showed me it, saying, I, I just couldn't believe it. I was thinking, Jamie, why say that? Because obviously, because I know him, why would you say that? But I hope he, <laughs> I, I listened to Andy McCoy, what he said, it was quite funny, to be honest in that. But I hope after um, he probably realised what he said. Uh, but obviously, it's a difficult one for me because obviously I play for Bournemouth. But let's be honest, I mean, everyone will say that. You know, there's no comparison. The size of this football club, you know, it's, it's a massive football club with an unbelievable fan base. Um, but I shouldn't, you know, it's, 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 it's laughable. What he said was laughable. What did you make of uh, Eddie Howe's resignation and you having worked under him? Um, again, I was, I was a little bit surprised. I was shocked, probably like everyone else, you know, that, I mean, the journey um, from where he sort of like started. Um, he started in the youth team, went on to play for the club, actually played with Eddie. My first spell at Bournemouth when I was on loan from West Ham when I was 17. Um, him and Jason Tindall at the back, and then you go on to manage the football club. So it's sort of like a, a fairy tale, you know, with what happened. And to get the club into the Premier League, was, which is an unbelievable story in itself. And then, um, you know, five years in the Premier League for it to come to an end. Obviously, it's a sad time for everyone at the football club. But again, it's just part and parcel of football, you know, managers come and go. Um, and I can imagine that he probably would want some sort of a break now. To sort of like reflect and sort of like spend time with his family because I remember Eddie used to get to the training ground at six six a.m. go in the gym, he wouldn't leave the training ground until seven. Uh, sort of like that work ethic and that. So, you know, good luck to Eddie in his in his next job, whatever he wants to do. Um, David but but yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, I think we all saw the effect that the time you spent with Alfredo had on him last season. And Kamar Ruth, when he's come in this week, has spoken about really looking up to you and hoping to, to learn from you. Obviously, another young striker has come in. Is that something that you're conscious of being able to pass on that experience you've accrued? Yeah, of course. I mean, I've, 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 I've made it clear many times that obviously when I was young at West Ham, I had, I had Ian Wright at the club and he was unbelievable with me, you know. Um, 
I was sort of like like a sponge. I used to just watch him. Um, I used to watch the things he used to eat, how he used to train. I used to clean his boots, um, and and to get this sort of like this this stage in my career where I can obviously give something back, like the Alfredo the Alfredo um, situation where you know he was scoring goals and running over to the bench to me. So it was sort of like it was it was nice. Um, but obviously, I realised that as a senior player, um, it's always nice to sort of like help the younger players and try and trying to help them improve and always being approachable. You know, if they want to come and speak to me about anything, you know, I'd always listen and, 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 and try and help. Alfredo? I've always said to be honest, like sky's the limit to be honest with, with him. Um, you know, he's he's someone he's a natural goal scorer and um, I believe when you're a natural goal scorer, you score goals at any level, um, given the chances and stuff. And uh, from day one, when I obviously came into the football club, he really impressed me. You know, his hunger for goals. Um, and even when he missed chances in that, he, he was never afraid to sort of like, you know, get into those same areas and try and, and, and try again, which is which is a good sign. Um, but yeah, he's, he's, he's a natural goal scorer. And I believe that he could score goals at any level. So. You've been in the game a long time, Jimmy. You've seen all these situations, all this speculation. What would you say to a younger player like that going through this? And not quite sure what's going to happen. I would just say, just don't even get involved. Literally, obviously, you know, when you're when you're when you're young, sometimes you, be, you can become anxious, and especially look for him. He's probably thinking, ah, oh, there's two forwards that've come into the football club. But literally, just just get your head down and play football. We've got a, a massive game this evening. If I was Alfredo, I wouldn't even think about it. Literally, I'll just put my phone down. I wouldn't even speak to my agent, to be honest. I'll just sort, sort of like let them take care of it, whatever's happening. Get your head down and play football because at the end of the day, this is what we do. You know, you play football, let your football do the talking, as, as what people say. Uh, and, and, and I think that's the, that's the best way to approach any situation like this. Yeah, I remember. Do you know what? I remember watching him at Leeds. To be honest, and he and he really impressed me. <clears throat> so, um, to be honest, I'm, I'm I'm delighted that we've we've got someone like that because at the end of the day, um, like I said, for me, I just I just want I'm just I just want to achieve something special. Where you know it's a special football club. You know the the demands. You know and and, and the pressure. You know you, you know every game you have to play well. You know you have to win trophies, and that is something that I craved, um, to be honest, before I came here. And that's why when I got the opportunity to come here, it's sort of like an easy, easy decision. You know, you you walk around the training ground, you walk around the stadium, you see all the all the, the history on the walls and stuff like that. You just want to be a part of it. So when when the team when the player new players come in to strengthen the squad, for me it's exciting in that because you know hopefully that will lead to something special.